I didn't mean to come here and badmouth your father. I badmouthed you. That's only fair. It was his last message that did it. He made it sound like I was the one being unreasonable. I just wanted to slap him. Did you see the scratches? Yeah. I lost it big time. I just don't get any of this. Why would Dad dump Huya and then sleep with her again? And... Are you ready? Sarah. How long have you been here for? Long enough for her to tell me everything. So, what is this fabulous explanation of yours, Craig? I'm dying to hear it. Yeah, me too. Look, I made a mistake. Pardon? Okay. Huey and I were working together and we drank some wine. We got closer than we should have. Things were never really resolved between us. And you had to resolve things all night, in bed. It didn't mean anything, okay? She knows I don't want her. It was just a, a, a stupid mistake, all right? I'm, I'm really sorry. Is that it? Is that the best you can do? Look, I hate myself for what happened, okay? I, I wish I'd never done it. It's over now. Huey and I... I promise that it's the end. I'll never hurt you again. Okay? I will never hurt you again, Sarah. Well, whoop de doo It's a shame I don't give a stuff. Sarah, please. Just leave me alone and stop calling me. Okay, don't say a word. Let's just go. I'll take the bus. You're crazy. You'll be late. At least I won't have you there. Should be here by now. Craig's probably having trouble finding a part. Don't worry about it. They haven't called for me yet, have they? No, I think they're going alphabetically. <laughs> Thank goodness. Who's your dad? Oh, he couldn't make it. But it's cool, I'm fine. Okay. Did something happen at home? No, why do you ask? No, you just seem all edgy. I'll be fine once I get in there. It's just the waiting. I need to go to the Fuddy Paku. Etty Kawaka. Ah, uh, he must. Good luck, babe. Knock him dead. You'd be great. Oh, boy. Hey, Mel. Welcome back. Thanks. Surgery went really well. Yeah. Mm. You're in HDU now. We're going to keep you here a little while just to monitor your blood pressure. Is it up and down like yo yo? A little bit. Nothing to worry about. Chris, we should leave her to sleep now. Tony? You did really well. I owe you so much. Us mums have to stick together. I'll pop back in later. Okay, thanks. Uh, this could have gone very differently. I know, things got a bit hairy there for a second. Hmm, kind of hairy that could cost me my reputation. The kind of hairy my wife told me to avoid. Well, this was a special case, hon. By the time they get to me, they all are. Let's talk about school, Etty. What are you good at? What are his friends? Well, I'm kind of a natural leader, I guess. I coach the girls' rugby team. We didn't really win, but I got them to pull together in that for a while. Um, I'm really good at art, especially graphic, graphic design. Um, I used to be a tagger. But not anymore. I'm squeaky clean. You say you'd be a good overseas ambassador. Why is that? Well, I know a lot about New Zealand. I've studied up on our education system, nuclear policy, Treaty of Waitangi. I even know who the Governor-General is. Go on, ask me. No need for that. Oh. Just a couple more. How do you feel about parting with your family? Well, it depends what you mean by family. I never really knew my dad. My mum lives up north but she couldn't look after me, so I was raised by my auntie. And she was great, but I got to be too much for her. <laughs> Go on. Then I moved down here to live with my cousin Tama and his wife. Um, I was 15, he was 18. Kind of made us both grow up, really. Then the baby came. It was pretty stressful, but I'm pretty good with kids, so I did my bit. Then Tama and Shannon split up, moved on. 
It was hard for them, but um, it was the right decision. They're happy. Now I live with Jay and Maya. Jay's Tama's cousin. So, yeah, that's what I call family, my Fano. And there's a heap of others, so I don't really see them that much, but I know they're there. I know I'm part of something. So going overseas won't really wig me out or anything. Was that the question? Can't be too much longer. They'll be here all night. It's a shame Craig's not with you. Is he still in Rotorua? No, he's back. Really? So how come he couldn't make it? Oh, yes, he's finished. Scarlet Valentine. Yes, here. How was it? Torture. But don't worry, you'll fly through. How'd you go? I'll do better next year. To me, being an ambassador means being aware that people don't just see you as an individual, but as a representative of your country. It's standards, it's values, even its sense of humour. People say New Zealand's a great place to bring up kids. I'd like the chance to prove that's true. How would I feel about leaving my family? Yes. Well, to be honest, if you told me I had to walk out of here now and get on a plane without saying goodbye to any of them, I'd go for it. Really? Well, not that there's actually them anymore. It's just my father and his girlfriend. I was nearly late for the interview today because I was counselling her. he just cheated on her with his ex. The woman he brought to live with us. The woman who I really liked and admired. No wonder she couldn't face me today, the tart. But that's the kind of man he is. So arrogant. It's why my brother had to run away and live in Australia with my mum, who I've hardly seen since I was three. And he's such a hypocrite. He leaves me alone in the house all the time, and then he thinks he can tell me how to live my life. I hate him, and if you don't see me on the student exchange and get me away from him, I don't know what I'll do. Well, love may be thin on the ground in Shortland Street, but it abounds in Notting Hill. Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts star in your midweek movie at 25 to 10 tonight, part of RTE's Valentine's season.